It's time for one of the biggest battles our solar system has ever seen. In this corner, a gas giant and heavyweight, Jupiter. And in this corner, an infinitely small but truly terrifying black hole. What would happen to these rivals as they hurtled toward each other? Why would this event cause Earth to be bombarded by asteroids? And would it be game over for our solar system? This is What If, and here's what would happen if Jupiter collided with a black hole. Okay, before the fight, let's take a quick look at exactly what each contender is up against. Starting with our solar system's favorite, Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun, located about 740 million kilometers from it. This gas giant is the largest planet too. It's about 318 times more massive than Earth and twice as massive as all the other planets in our neighborhood combined. But looks can be deceiving. Compared to its opponent, the heavyweight Jupiter isn't all that heavy. Stellar black holes are a lot smaller than our gas giant, but they sure can pack a punch. The thing about black holes is that they are dense, incredibly dense. All of their matter is contained within an infinitely small point known as a singularity. And inside this tiny region, all concepts of time and space fall apart. And like any object with mass, black holes have gravity. A lot of gravity. Most black holes are remnants of massive stars. They're called stellar black holes, and they range from 3 to 10 solar masses. But because they're so dense, if a black hole with 10 times the mass of our Sun appeared in our solar system, it would only be 60 kilometers across. So would our gas giant Jupiter stand a chance to defeat its tiny but immensely powerful contender? Or would it just be another object lost inside the black hole's point of no return? Everything in the universe is moving through space at breakneck speed, and naturally, that includes the Sun and the rest of our solar system. We're whizzing across the cosmos at about 720,000 kilometers an hour. And in this galactic dance, another star may come close enough to us to influence the outer regions of our solar system. Or worse, we might run into one of the nearly one billion black holes rampaging around the Milky Way galaxy. Of course, the chances of this happening are slim. The closest star in our neighborhood is over four light years away, and that's far. Scientists think that there's only a 1% chance that another star will ever come close enough to disrupt the edges of our solar system. The chances of a rogue star coming close enough to mess with Jupiter are even lower. But it could happen. At first, as this stealthy force of destruction swung toward us, the black hole would disrupt the Oort cloud. This area surrounds our solar system like a giant spherical shell, and it's filled with icy objects. But these mountain-sized ice cubes would be no match for a black hole. As they were pulled along for the ride with this small but massive monstrosity, this would be the first sign that an epic collision with Jupiter was unavoidable. The gravitational intruder would continue through the next region, the Kuiper Belt, and it would wreak havoc along the way. Many of the icy objects here, including the dwarf planet Pluto, would be ejected from their orbits. Things would suddenly get more serious for Earth, as many of these objects would now be on a deadly collision course with us. As it passed Neptune, Uranus, and Saturn, the black hole would tear away their gases. 
These gases would form an accretion disk of superheated gas and dust around the gravitational intruder. And if the black hole came too close to any of these planets, they could also be at risk of being ejected from their orbits. Then, the black hole would finally bear down on Jupiter. And right away, the gas giant would experience a similar attack on its atmosphere. The black hole would pull away hydrogen and helium gases like yarn from a yarn ball. Eventually, the entire planet would be pulled toward the black hole. It would be an unfair fight from the get-go. Jupiter wouldn't even be able to get a punch in, and if all this isn't violent enough, just wait. As this dense and hungry monster chowed down on Jupiter's abundance of gas, it would also release an explosive wave of UV and X-rays in all directions. Yeah, it would be like one big supermassive burp packed with deadly radiation. This radiation would hurtle toward us on Earth. In less than an hour, lethal amounts of radioactive material would rain down on us. But on the bright side, you'd finally be able to see the black hole up in the sky. Whatever stability we enjoy in our solar system would be gone. The black hole would be swallowing up everything in sight, including our planet. Now, if we somehow managed to be spared the full brunt of the black hole's destructive forces, well, without Jupiter, our solar system would need to find a new gravitational balance. Yeah, Jupiter had a special place in our neighborhood. Its enormous gravity kept asteroids and comets from pummeling us and other inner planets of our neighborhood. It also helped Earth maintain its nearly circular orbit around the Sun. So even if we survived all the gravitational havoc from a rogue black hole, without Jupiter, this little space rock we call home wouldn't last long. But hey, let's not kid ourselves. What are the chances this black hole would devour Jupiter and then just stop dead in its tracks? No, it's coming for you too you'd get a first-hand look at what would happen if a black hole sucked you into its event horizon. Hopefully, you can travel faster than the speed of light. Otherwise, your annihilation would be horrifying. But that's a story for another What If.